When you buy a VPS, first thing you need to learn is how to connect to it. SSH is the best way to connect to a Linux VPS. It's secure and safe. So if you've just bought your first VPS and trying to connect, this video will help you. We'll look into two methods of using SSH to connect to VPS. One method is to execute commands and the other one is to upload files. Let's look into executing commands first. Using PuTTY to access VPS over SSH PuTTY is a free SSH client. It's available for both Windows and Linux systems. We'll focus on Windows version, since Linux users don't need to use third-party software. Linux users can connect to SSH terminal by hitting Ctrl Alt plus T key combination. If you're on Windows go ahead and download MSI Windows installer from PuTTY download page. Link to the download page is in the video description. Open the downloaded file and install it. Run the application PuTTY after installing. PuTTY will ask you for a host name or IP address. You can get it from your hosting provider. I'm using DigitalOcean in this example. They send an email with VPS, aka droplet, information. Type server's IP address in the text field. And make sure port is set to 22 and connection type is set to SSH. You can optionally save server details under saved sessions. Then click open. A security warning will appear, simply click yes. Then a window with black background will open with the text login as. Type root and hit enter. You'll be now asked for a password. Type the password you got from your VPS provider. You won't see what you're typing at this point. It's a security feature. Just make sure to type it correctly. You'll get used to it. And that's it. You're now logged into your server. You'll see a welcome message from whatever operating system your VPS is using. Next. We'll look into using FileZilla to access VPS over SSH. PuTTY gave us direct access to the server's command line where we can execute Linux commands. But that's not going to be enough for us to manage a server with websites. We occasionally need to upload and download files from the server. We must connect to VPS with a FTP client like FileZilla to transfer files. We must install FTP server software on our VPS to access it through FTP. It'll add some load to server and eat bit of RAM. FTP isn't secure either. SSH is a better solution for this purpose. It's secure and you'll hardly feel any difference. So download and install FileZilla on your PC. Link can be found on the video description. Launch FileZilla after the installation. You can fill in your server information like you did on PuTTY.
click quick connect button. You are now connected to the server as if you were using FTP. Those are the two methods you can use to connect to your VPS over SSH. You can use PuTTY to execute direct commands and FileZilla to manage the file system. SSH is really handy in terms of safety and usability. It minimizes the need of a control panel. I'll see you in next video.